we get into this video guys don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today we are doing a what i eat in the day so i kick started my day with a coffee earlier um with my my protein flavor drops these are honestly a lifesaver everyone if you don't like a coffee without sugar then you need this these are so good i literally put like three or four drops in maybe five from feeling a little bit cheeky it does a job honestly mix it all in and it's just so good i'm such a coffee lover but i physically couldn't have it without sugar like plain coffee is just not the one girls it's not the one such a sweet tooth and also um i have that about um 8 a.m half eight depending on you know the day the time what, what i'm doing with my life in this lockdown loveliness that fills me up for a couple of hours and then i have my first meal at 10 so it is now 10 a.m welcome i'm currently sewing the porridge as we speak so if i'm looking over here so my porridge is basically done so Today I just want to show you what I eat on a diet. So at the moment I am in a deficit of 500 and I am eating 1,560 calories a day. So my calories won't drop any lower than that. That is the lowest they're going to go for me. One, I'm such a foodie. I love food. And 1,400 as well. I just wouldn't stick to it. I know what I'm like. I love a little evening snack, don't we all? So yeah, I, I'm only keeping them there. I heard some people say to me, oh, you don't need to lose weight, you're tiny. Okay, well, I'm not tiny. Posing is a beautiful thing. Like, let's just clarify that. But what I do do is I want to get my body fat down because I want to feel leaner. Um, at the moment, my well, before I started, my body fat was overweighing my lean body mass, so my lean body mass needs to be um, a lot more to feel stronger. And that's ultimately the goal. The, the goal to where I need to get to is to be able to eat more and look better and weigh less. I mean, doesn't everyone want that? So yeah, so that's what I'm working for at the moment. But the first step is the cut just to really um, get my body fat down so that when I reverse diet, it's a slow, gradual process and I'm not just piling on the fat again. Um, but in order to do so, you need to start with the cut. So that is where I'm at. I start with this. So I have a digestion tablet um, before I have any food. Now, this really helps me. Just to clarify before I put this down my throat, these are completely natural. They're from my vitamins, but you can find them on the website, my protein. I will put the link below. Don't you worry. They are completely natural. They're actually vegan as well, girls. So if you're vegan, that's quite good. Um, but yeah, completely natural substance. And this isn't any fad or anything. Like I've, if you know me, if you follow my journey, I have had awful bowel problems in the past. So the fact that I can have this really does help. It just breaks down the food for me, um, helps my gut stay healthy and just keep my body flowing. Otherwise there is gonna be a constipated Lucy and trust me, you don't wanna meet her. She isn't a good person. But no, in all seriousness, I was literally in the doctors every single week with issues because uh, I was so bunged up, but I was eating plenty of fiber and I can understand why. So um, I now space my meals out. That's another reason why I space my meals out so much. Two hours, every two hours I eat because this one often for me is good. Um, I'm no good going hours without eating and then eating a massive meal. For me, no go honey, doesn't work. Right, so digestion tablet first. Bang, and the tablet has gone. I am making my porridge. I'll show you this in just one second, but before it dries up, I'm gonna put in my porridge. Uh, protein into my porridge so as many of you know i love a protein porridge i just can't get enough of it i'm telling you absolutely love it it just fills me up for the first half of the day it makes me feel good and it's generally really nice so i mean guys if you if you've got something you like stick to it i always say like when, whilst i'm dieting and i've got my fitness pal and i'm um, tracking literally everything it's just so much easier to eat the same foods for me, personally. And I don't, like, I only really have breakfast the same and a few snacks. Then my lunch and dinner are normally different, depending on the week, depending on what is going out of date and what I need to use up. But generally, to stay on track, it is just easier. You can, it, on my fitness pal, you just swipe right and it adds it in for you. So that's another little tip there. Uh, another thing I do, actually, is I put all my food in the night before. So that I can just use my fitness pal as a recipe book. I hate the idea of having a really strict diet and being like, oh god, I ate, I ate a cream egg. I need to go and put it in my diary. Instead, if I like plan it, just like that bit of drama there. If I plan it, um, then it it feels more like a recipe book. It's not a chore. Like it's something I can enjoy. I go, oh look at look what I've 
created today and then um, can make it. So that's a really good tip if you're struggling to on your calories, then absolutely do it the night before. That happened in my bedtime routine. If you haven't seen that, go and check that video out for me because I promise you won't be disappointed. Oh, guys, would you look at that, my little bunny? That is a Kit Kat bunny. How beautiful is that? Right, you guys, I'm going to tuck into this bowl of yumminess. This actually has, let me check for you the exact calorie, 368 calories in this dish. So, obviously, like, normally I sit to 320. I have, like, my ratios. But, to be honest, at the moment, the reason why I've changed it is because I normally have a carb crusher for a snack, about 12 from my protein. But at the moment, they're out of stock, so I was, so, I was actually so sad. So, my first snack of the day is smaller, so I have a big breakfast. If you're thinking, oh my gosh, she thinks into it so much, honestly, like, for me, it just really works to have a goal for each meal, so I know exactly what I'm having. Helps on track, but also, it's really helped me learn about portion serving. Um, and like sizes and what you should do girls the main reason i've done this video is because i've seen so many celebrities recently doing like what i eat in a days which is like they're not doing anything wrong they're not causing any harm they're not clued up in the industry some of them and i don't expect them to know things i don't but when you watch a video of someone eating pretty much eggs and sweet potato and broccoli the whole entire day it just and like salads and stuff and with lots of mayonnaise it just goes to show that like those things do work for you of course they do but normally what i just want you guys to remember is that these people are doing it because they've got a photo shoot around the corner and they want to just quickly get rid of some weight which let me tell you will more than likely fluctuate and you'll more than likely come back on quicker than they've got it off because it's been a quick process best results come from slow and steady journeys why because you can eat what you want to eat like literally i'm eating a malteser bunny on my breakfast right now like I, if i was on a really strict like leaner diet i wouldn't do that but i know that if i stick to it for a certain amount of time it will come off slower but it will last a lifetime and that is it my little slogan i've got is um, on my website, if you check out Lisa Rose Fit, you'll see it. Because blossoming in your future is a big thing. You want to blossom. You don't want to grow old. You want to blossom as you get older. And to do that, you need a good lifestyle change. So, guys, I'm going to go enjoy my 368 calorie breakfast. Ooh. And then I will catch you again in two hours when I eat. So, it's 10 a.m. now. It's about half 10 now, to be honest, all this talking. Um, and then 12 o'clock will be the next snack. So, I'll see you at 12 okay next meal 12 o'clock guys is my shreddies okay you guys so i've got my shreddies i have been working all morning today i've literally just been sat on the sofa because it's freezing today it's one of these when i look back at this video i need to remind myself it's a day that it's been snowing then it's sunny snow sun what the hell snow it's march i thought we we're meant to be blooming sunbathing at this time of the year so this is my shreddies that I have got, let me tell you exactly, 40 grams of shreddies, which is 148 calories. And I've got 80 grams of soy milk. I love soy milk so much. This is the no sugars one, so it's um, got no sugar. Um, and it actually does taste really nice. It doesn't taste any different. 10 calories less, not a lot less, but it just tastes the same. I thought, you know what, if you haven't got any sugar, why not? grams of this milk and that is 26 calories so that is my snack so normally my snacks are like 280 but at the moment they're less because my breakfast is more because i love breakfast here we go mm. guys i don't know about you but shreddy just brings it back for me it just takes me back to when i was sitting in my kitchen in year six i was in my little red school uniform having my breakfast before going to school it just brings it back love shreddies so much um let me tell you much protein protein are in them actually i don't think there's that much but they just taste so darn good here we go right shreddies you have to turn it around on my fitness pal to get the protein which i actually never knew a few months ago what the hell right protein oh god i have to get always to the top everyone hold on bear with me here one two three so it's the fourth row one two three four four grams of protein so actually for a bowl of cereal that's not bad at all guys my mum is just calling me let me just answer sorry for that interruption my 
father was calling me. I thought it was my mum and dad called me. Anyway, yeah, I'm just sat on the sofa eating my shreddies and I've got loads of work to do today. I've got clients going back to the gym, so I'm doing their gym plans, which is just so exciting. I literally, I'm so buzzed. It's currently uh, Wednesday, really had to think about that. Wednesday today, and we go back on Monday to the gym. So I'm so sorry if you're watching this and you don't go back to the gym until May if you live in Wales. Um, don't even worry about it. There's, it to be honest, guys, it, the reason why I'm excited isn't really for the gym. It's to go and just be around people because right now like i'm just in my flat with tom and it's just me and tom so it's it's always quite nice just to go out and you know see other people and that's a bit the social aspect of what i'm looking forward to and um, you don't actually need the gym to make results you really actually don't if you're trying to build strength you know and you've got you need to be a certain weight by this time and a certain strength you need to be as strong as you can by a certain time then obviously that's different but if you're on a fat loss phase you really don't need it you can do 85% of it is diet anyway. So just don't even worry about it, guys, if it's not open. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if I just rubbed it in your face. Sad times. But I'm gonna crack on with my work. I've got so much to do. I've got a new client sign up today, so I'm really excited for that. Having speaking about clients, um, I do have some availability actually. So if you wanna jump on, just let me know and I can send you all the details over email. Um, literally just head to my website, I'll put it down below, Lisa Rose Fit. It is new and updated, so go and check it out because I've spent about 10 years revamping my website. And guys, I've finally done it. I'm so excited. So go and check out my website if you haven't. It's www.lisaracefit.com and it's all my own creation. And I'm just really proud of myself, actually. It's hard great the website. It's long-winded, but it is done and I'm so excited. I just can't wait. So go on there, go on online coaching, fill in the inquiry form, and I look forward to hearing from you. See you in a bit. Oh my God, you guys, I've been sitting down for literally three whole hours. My bum is officially numb. I literally can't feel it. So I'm getting up from that space there. Oh my God, there's actually an indent where my bum was. <laughs> that's not embarrassing is it um i'm gonna take a big bottle of water i'm gonna fill this up and go for a wonder because i quite frankly need to move my body i can't sit down for that long it's too much so time to walk good afternoon everyone you are literally buying someone an Easter egg right now. This happened yesterday. And I am so fuming. If anyone knows how you fix these tripods that are just pants, please let me know because I would love the advice. Comment below, please. Thank you very much. Um, I'm trying to find the email from Curry's because I think I do get two year warranty. But if that's the camera or the stand, who knows? But we're gonna give it a go. Anyway, let's crack on. It's lunch. I'm starving. I was literally, I was just saying my Instagram story, and I think I told you actually, that I've been sitting down for three hours, like no joke, just doing my work. And I'm just tapping away, you know. I like to get a job done before I do the next. So yeah, it took me three hours. Um, but I went for a walk and I've done my steps, 11,000. I try and aim for, um, I aim for 11, and then if I do 12, it's an absolute bonus. So my tummy is rumbling, big time. For lunch, I've got, there we go. Heck sausages, two, bagel, and a, literally just a pile of leaves, basically. But this stuff is so good because it's crunchy, so it just tastes even longer to eat it, and it just tastes amazing, to be honest. Um, I do sometimes put mayonnaise on it, but today I would rather have an Easter egg than mayonnaise. My lighter than light, so um, we're missing out on the mayonnaise today, but. Mm. I'm such a disgusting eater, I do apologise. Yeah, that's good. For reference, chicken Italia um, sausages. Oh God, I've lost a bit. And this is a bagel thin from the good old Warburton's. I normally have this. Or I sometimes have um, Bacon and egg bagel, that's really, really nice. Or I make it into like a brunch bowl 
So I have like bacon, eggs, scram well, scrambled egg or fried, um, spinach, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers. I make it into like a nice big bowl of goodness, which is really good. Tastes yummy. Oh, for lunch, sometimes I have a toasty actually. That's sometimes my, or chicken pesto pasta. I always used to think for lunchtime that I shouldn't have something hot. I was like, oh no, that's like dinner time, isn't it? So I always just went with a really boring salad that was about 600 calories. This right here, I literally, I'll put it down below, but I believe it's 280. I think, I need to check that. So it's literally nothing in it. It's it's like well packed out. I mean, I've, the rest of the leaves are literally on my plate. But, oh, oh no, the leaves are falling out. Guys, I let go, that's the trouble, isn't it? And it's literally half the calories. So, yeah, no, I, I highly recommend eating something hot for lunch. It just, like, satisfies you. But it's actually three o'clock right now, so this is really late for me to have lunch. But it just help ties you into dinner. Like, now, this is three o'clock when I'm eating this. I normally eat at two if I'm really on speed, but literally just so busy on my laptop. I want to take my steps in before. So I could just crack on the rest of my day. And then tonight, um, I'll eat dinner at six. So it's three hours away from now yeah three hours away and then in two hours time i'm gonna have a hot chocolate actually i'll have it about an hour i think mm. mix it up a bit girls you know <laughs> so guys you know i said a minute ago how i'm gonna wait an hour and then have a hot chocolate well, here it is. <laughs> I had my savoury meal and I've just got such a sweet tooth. I need something to set it. So here it is, my 40 calorie optioned tea. Well, it's hot chocolate actually, but it's so nice. So good. Honestly, this is the best thing. I actually went, went to B&M the other day and um, oh, it just smells so good. And I got a massive one for £1.50 and it's normally about £3 for a skinny little pot in um, well, Tesco, Sainsbury's and Waitrose. So I decided I'm going to get it from B&M. And yeah, honestly, the deals are just amazing in B&M. I love it so much. So I got my option chocolate from there. So if, that, if you're wanting a good old deal, then go there. Apparently the white chocolate options hot chocolate is amazing as well. Personally, I don't like it. But... Um, for me, it was just a bit weak. It wasn't. It was like quite watery. Whereas this is literally pure chocolate. Three teaspoons, and I mean teaspoons, not tablespoons. Sorted, guys. So I'm going to enjoy this, watch some TV, have a bit of a longer break today. Right, you guys, I'm back to work now. Getting my jobs done, and I'm tucking into 25 grams of Easter egg. 138 calories, I think that is. Bon appetit. Yesterday, I'm actually having a cup of tea. Also, guys, I've just realised I didn't show you my banana earlier. I ate a banana whilst I was working. Just give me a little bit of tea. Um, so that was good. So yeah, no, I'm just going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed what I eat in a day. Um, as you can tell, it's quite realistic. It's quite uh, normal what I eat, I would say. Um, but that is on in an, I'm on a weight loss journey at the moment, so that is eating 1,560 calories a day. Um, but no, hopefully it's giving you some inspiration if you wanted to eat something. Um, I had my Easter egg today, which felt really nice. And I'm going to finish it with peppermint tea now and just kill the sofa. I'm already tired. I've like, been looking at my laptop all day today, so you know, like when your eyes are still square. So um, yeah, I'm just going to chill out now. So guys, please. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really does mean the absolute world. I love creating these videos. I love vlogging for you. Um, workouts are taking a little bit of a backseat at the moment, but it's because I've just moved into my flat, as you guys all know. Uh, I need to find my feet and if it's going to work, because um, basically the lens for YouTube videos for workouts, you need such a big space to be able to make it fit. So I will try my best, um, but I'll be in touch with that. But if not, don't forget to subscribe for more vlogs, more things like this. Get this far. Comment down below what you want the next video to be. Guys, thank you so much for watching once again. Big love to you all. Thank you. Bye.